teacher's perspective, uh, I had the challenge of teaching uh, STEM in the middle school level. Uh, I'm a background in math. I'm a math teacher and I teach robotics. I have some background in technology and engineering, doing programming. Uh, but the challenge is how do I teach perhaps science to my students? But more importantly, just teach science, but how can they do science like a professional? You know, the old adage, if you, if you teach me, I'll forget. You know, if, if I, you show me, I'll learn, but uh, if you engage me, I'll understand. And this is what we're trying to do here. Uh, being a, a part of the program for about five years, I've gotten training from uh, Poly and resources, learning about technology and robotics through workshops and uh, through meet, monthly meetings, as well as having at uh, my disposal a uh, graduate fellow who is a scientist. Uh, the photo to the left shows a picture of Jennifer, who is a, a biochemist, that is bringing her research uh, to the classroom. She's doing research in protein and DNA studies, and the students here are doing a, a, a project uh, involving bacteria. So just rather than teaching bacteria, we're showing how a scientist will go through the process of analyzing it and doing uh, scientific uh, research. And we find the students are becoming engaged and uh, taking ownership of, of the lessons. To the uh, right is a photo of a, a scientist who is a colleague of, of Jennifer. So not only are we able to bring uh, science into the classroom, but also to form uh, relationships with uh, scientists in the field. So we can see how uh, science is used in the world, real world. Uh, here's a scientist that's a process engineer and is describing how uh, when uh, creating uh, uh, materials and for uh, development of, of food, uh, how can you have a safe environment so that bacteria doesn't form in the places where it's being created. So we can see how science is used uh, towards court careers. So this is uh, one of the transitions we use. And this leads to the students getting ownership of, of, the, of the research and also opening other interdisciplinary uh, activities, such as writing and, and documenting. So the students here are documenting research about bacteria, and they're forming an interest, they're analyzing results on the agar plates. And this leads to uh, developing a curriculum where we use the whole uh, disciplines of STEM, the science, technology, and engineering. And so we have here leading to students developing uh, an invention. So here they're developing a, a prototype to uh, this is they call the prot portable decontaminator. So the students take what they learn from science and apply it to engineering and to actually develop something. So we increase in creativity and invention. And this all led to uh, something else that our, our school is involved with the first uh, a Lego League, and so the students competed, and they won an award for their research. And I can say over the years, I've been involved with uh, first Lego League and about the robotics end of it, and I've noticed a switch and transition and in interest from the beginning, the students always quite interested in building the robots and running the robots, but uh, there's also a research aspect of the competition, which always lags behind, because it involves more science, it involves more writing, and uh, having the uh, a graduate fellow who's a scientist work with the students really increases the motivation and the interest in it. And so we see the kids won an award for it and they're proud of their work and they're getting more engaged. 